All right, guys, finally, I'm getting ready to leave here. I'm heading out, and I look over one last time, and there is our target for the day right there. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Wild Attractions. We're actually in the Dallas, Texas area today. This is my first time over here. I've been to Arlington, but not so much actual uh, Dallas. So really excited because we are here today. Uh, for about an hour or two, not too long, but I'm here today because I'm looking for a very particular snake, and that is a beautiful, beautiful water snake. Uh, it's specifically the broadband water snake. We have found this species before, but in this particular area, they are extremely beautiful, um, and I'm very excited to see them. I've seen pictures, but have not seen them in person, so we're going to go out there today and see if we can't find any. It is a beautiful 80 degrees, 81 degrees right now, and it's one o'clock in the afternoon, so I can't ask for much better than that. Hopefully snakes are moving. We will see how things turn out. Um, of course, as usual, I will be extremely happy to see any species um, that we might come across here, and there are a few of them, so very excited, but we're gonna get out there and start looking around, see if we can't find a few herp. Well, that's not a snake, but two pretty large carp hanging out downstream of this little area right here. This is where we're starting today. Gonna look uh, right along here in the calmer water on this side. See if we can see some snakes hanging out or something. Oh my gosh, that is a huge fish. Look at that thing. I feel like I'm in Alaska right now. All right, well, I will let you guys know when I see something. First sign of life today, right there on that branch. There's a big Texas spiny lizard right there. Just getting some rays. Looks like a big male. All right, well, interestingly, my first find was not a water snake like I expected, but a tiny little baby cottonmouth. Let me know when you see him. <laughs> it's right there. I've actually never seen a cottonmouth that small before. Tiny little guy hanging out in this puddle, likely catching or trying to catch some frogs, maybe some fish, anything that might come by. Cottonmouths can be pretty opportunistic eating, uh, they can even eat baby turtles, things like that, but just a young little guy hanging out. Maybe I'll take a quick couple pictures, not going to bother him too much, and then try to find our target. Pretty cool though, just hanging out, enjoying the rays. How about this? Walked up to this pond right here. Their little puddle, pretty much. Just witnessed this guy hunting some fish. This is a western ribbon snake, Thamnophis proximus. But really pretty snake. <laughs> Glad I got to see him with those beautiful blues. All right, well, I just wanted to show you guys him for a minute. I'm gonna let him go now and keep looking for our, for our target, the water snake. Tiny little six line, I think. Six line stink. Just got him running across the path right here. But won't be able to get my hands on him. He's already full of energy. Probably been basking for a little while. Totally almost just walked right past this, but I'm on a boardwalk right now and I look over to my left and there's a young rough green snake hanging out right here next to the boardwalk on this fallen tree. I 
haven't seen a live rough green in some time, so pretty uh, pretty exciting for me. Really beautiful snakes. Let me try and get my hands on them real quick. Grab some pics. Here's one more close up of this beautiful juvenile. Looks to be about a year or two old. A little rough green snake. Just hanging out, getting some of this sun in the middle of the day. Love these guys. Very few bright, bright green snakes like this in the US. And these are one of the prettiest for sure. <laughs> so cool. All right, gonna let this guy go. But here's one last look. So cool. All right guys, finally, I'm getting ready to leave here. I'm heading out and I look over one last time and there is our target for the day. Right there, that is a broad banded water snake. And a really pretty one at that. This one right here is an adult. I can try and get my hands on her, but it's probably going to be pretty tough. Let me go ahead and give it a try before she starts moving. Just barely missed her, unfortunately. Had a feeling I would. She was a little bit out of reach, but thought I would try anyways. Very, very pretty snake. I don't know if you could tell, but she was very brightly colored. Usually they're not that bright anymore at that age. Uh, when you see them in like other locales but this specific area they hold on to colors really well so definitely want to come out here and see them. I'm glad to, glad I got to see her nonetheless but maybe we'll see another one on the way out if not still cool. Well that was definitely an interesting couple of hours. Uh, I had a great time saw some cool snakes honestly uh, a few things that I didn't get on camera like leopard frogs uh, some, cool, some cool bugs but we saw, um, honestly, a wider variety than I was expecting. I was expecting to see mostly uh, water snakes, and in fact, we only saw one, uh, but it was the target, so I was happy about that. It was a great looking snake. Just wish we could have got our hands on it, but uh, no big deal. Uh, I do wanna come back at some point in the future. It was really cool to see the uh, rough green snake and the ribbon snake as well. Was not really expecting to come across those. They aren't super uncommon or anything, but um, I definitely don't see uh, especially rough green snakes too often so really really cool uh you know decent couple hours and definitely can't complain about that but i hope you guys enjoyed it probably going to combine this with some, with another video um i definitely don't think it's enough to make a single episode so um yeah i'll figure that out as i go along but yeah again hope you guys enjoyed it if you liked it um make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time